Hi friends, Hal here. Quail Studios Guitar, where you learn how to be awesome on the guitar. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so you can get new videos when we put them out. Anyway, um, stay tuned, because we're going to talk about alternate bass. How to pick that, you know, how to, how to use a pick and do that alternate bass note. And this goes along with uh, one of the videos that I did on what do you do with a drunken sailor, a very popular uh, tune. So what I'm doing here is I've got an A minor chord, and I'll show you in my right hand here what I'm doing. So on this A minor chord, I'm plucking the A string, and then I'm strumming down up on the high strings, and then D string, and then the A string, D string. Now a lot of times when I'm doing that, it has this little bounce to it. Because when I hit that A string, let's see if I can get in closer. When I hit the A string, I actually hit it and bounce off of the D string right there. What I'm doing here is I'm actually, I'll show you in a second. I'm hitting that A string with my pick, and then I'm doing a hammer on right there. We hit that string open, and then I hammer like that. Now, if you're not getting any sound out of that string, you might not be hitting it fast enough or hard enough. Because if you do it very slow, Right? It doesn't work. You gotta tap it like this to get a good sound. So that's what you got to do. You got to get that tapping going back and forth like that. So it actually works for you. Well, thanks. That was it. What do you do with a drunken sailor and alternate picking? Of course, you can use it on many other different kinds of things too. We'll talk about it later when we do things like that. I'll reference this uh, video if I can remember, right? Anyway, uh, thanks for being here. Don't forget we have a Patreon page and come and see us over there. You can just tip us. It's really great if you help us out with the videos. Just a dollar a month or uh, you know five dollars or something like that would be great. You can also take lessons. Message me over there. I can get back to you. I'll give you my phone number You know when you're over there. So you can message me directly when you have a question. And I also answer questions over there, and we have lead sheets over there that we post now, and you can access any of those and ask me questions about, hey, do you have this lead sheet or whatever? Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.